In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do this really awesome text pop-in effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get right into the video. So once we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, we want to begin by creating a brand new title. So we're gonna go File, New, Legacy Title. We'll press OK on this window, or you can rename the text if you like, but I'm gonna keep it how it is, so I'll press OK. And then inside of the title window, you want to create a new title with a word of your choice. So I'm going to go with Chris. I'm going to change the font to Avenir, change the weight to black. We'll increase the size and then I'm going to increase the kerning between the characters. Now I'm going to make sure this is perfect white and then we'll center this up. Now, once you're happy with the look of your text, you can go ahead and exit the legacy title window and drag this title on to video layer one. Now from here, we need to go from one title layer to five title layers. We need a separate title layer for each individual character. So we need a title layer for C, one for H, one for R, one for I, and one for S. So in order to do this, you can either copy and paste the title layer multiple different times, or you can hold option on the keyboard, slide the title up to video layer two, and keep repeating this process over and over again until you've got all of your title layers copied. Now, from here, we need to go ahead and isolate all of these title layers using some masking. So I'll start with the title on video layer one. We'll go up to the free draw bezier or the pen tool as you probably know it. And we'll just draw a rectangle mask around C. Now we'll do the same thing with H, pen tool, draw a mask around H. Video layer three is going to be R. Video layer four is going to be I. And you probably guessed it, video layer five is going to be S. So keep repeating this process as many times as you need to until all of those letters have their own individual video layer. So you'll see if I turn off individual video layers, then different letters will disappear. So. From here, I'm going to ignore H, R, I, and S, and I'm just going to work on C. So I'm going to go to title 29, that is video layer one, and I'm going to update the anchor point to sit in the middle of C. Now an anchor point is where the movement comes from. So if I was to place an anchor point on this object in the top corner, if I was to rotate the object, it would rotate around this one corner. But if I put the anchor point in the very middle, then it would rotate around the middle. And this is what we want to do with all of these individual letters. So we want to adjust the anchor point on the first character. So we're gonna pull this all the way to the very middle. And if I just update the rotation, you'll see that we're pretty much in the right point. So from here, you want to go ahead and pull the scale down to 0% create a brand new keyframe with the cursor at the very beginning, move over four keyframes to the right, one, two, three, four, increase the scale to 130, and then we'll move over another four keyframes to the right, one, two, three, four, and pull this back down to 100%. Now, if we play this back, we've got this really nice bounce in effect. So we need to go ahead and we need to do the exact same thing for all of the characters on the word. So I'm gonna turn video layer two, three, four, and five back on. Selecting video layer one, I'm gonna copy the motion. So select motion, hold command or control if you're on Windows. Hit C, we'll go to video layer two and hold command V. And we'll keep doing this for all of the other titles. Now, it's really important that we go ahead and we update the anchor point of H, R, I, and S. So we'll go to video layer two, and we'll update the anchor point so that H sits directly on top of C. Now we'll do the same thing for R, make sure this sits on top of the others. So anchor point update to around there. Do the same for I, pull the anchor point over to the middle, and S as well. Now, all of those letters are animating from the correct anchor point, but the problem is they're all sitting directly on top of each other. And that is how that looks. It looks really ugly. 
So in order to correct this, we need to change the position, not the anchor point. We need to change the position of each of those characters. So we'll go to video layer one and we'll update the position. We'll pull this over to the left. Now we'll go to video layer two, pull this over to the left as well. Video layer three sits in the middle, so you don't have to change video layer three. Video layer four will pull to the right and then video layer five will pull to the right as well. And if we play this back, they all come up at the exact same time. Now, of course, if you wanted to add a little bit more spacing between the letters, that's completely fine, but I'm just going to leave it like this for now. So all of those individual characters are popping up at the same time. So in order to do this effect, we want to delay each individual character by a few frames. So we'll go to the very beginning. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six keyframes to the right, and we'll pull video layer two over to the cursor. We'll do another six. We'll pull video layer three over. Pull video layer four over. And now if we play this back from the very beginning, we've got this really awesome pop-up text effect happening right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So there you go. That is how you do this really awesome pop-up animation effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. See you there.